I know I All right, um, I'm Justin Brunken. Uh, I'm with CES. We're here at Rockwell Automation on the Move in Portland. Uh, and I'm here with Ron. Rap, Rapchinski. Yeah, Rap, I can't. Okay, I'm glad you said that, not me. I know we met before, and so you have a really cool uh, set of products here that mm -hmm. we've, uh, we've talked about before, but we want to actually tell everyone else here kind of uh, what's so special about this, how it fits in with everything else in our big solution for uh, connecting facilities and automation, right? Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, introduce what you have here and, and why a customer would care. Okay. So what tech, uh, NK Technologies is is a, tech, is a sensor company. We have 1,300 different sensors that are used to measure or monitor current, voltage, and power. They include a series of current sensing switches that turn uh, processes on or off based on the presence of current. Now the way that works is you pass a conductor through the sensor and it picks up the current and if it's a transducer, it'll convert that current or voltage, this one is for current, this one is for voltage, to an analog signal that will feed a Rockwell PLC to an analog card. So our, our relationship with Rockwell in the Encompass program is our pro products support their PLCs. So as you well know, the PLCs always need an input, a sensor of some type or another, and that's what we provide. So the, we have the current sensing switches that turns things on. The transducers, the way they work, is they'll sense the current, and it's proportional to the current going through the output. So it's, we're talking about a 4 to 20, a 0 to 5, or a 0 to 10 output. And the customer can choose whatever one they want. We have over with over 1,300 products, basically. We don't make it. They don't need it, but <laughs> we're constantly bringing out new products as well about every other month or so. So out yeah. of 1,300, what's the one product, if you're going to a customer here, what's the one product that you need to tell them about? Well, it's hard to say because the switches are big, very popular with this as well as the transducers. Let's say the transducers okay. because that's the, one of the biggest ones that add a lot of value. For instance, transducers can be used to monitor motor bearing wear, for example, to keep them in operation 24-7 running. And uh, a lot of people don't know that, and I'm helping share that with them here at this event. And it's going to get an excellent reception on that as well. So, so what would you tell a customer? It's like, well, I know uh, my motor and the motor variants will go bad over time or because of this operation. How do you get them to buy this thing and say, like, hey, there's oh. value in this, right, to get the okay. return? Okay, so the value component comes into what we call collateral damage. Uh, I'll give you an example from the another Reodum show in Spokane last year where I was explaining how the transducer can be used to monitor Barry, and a gentleman stopped up from my, I don't know what industry he was in, he goes, yeah, that's what happened to me about three weeks ago. He goes, that motor failed and I had a catastrophic outcome. And I'm thinking, wow, somebody got hurt or injured, like, what happened? He says, well, I had a $10,000 spindle connected to that shaft, and when it quit, I lost it. <laughs> so he had a, there's the value to him right there, but he didn't actually consider the total uh, catastrophic value or the, what I call collateral damage. He had a person that was down for some amount of time and additionally he had lost production that was probably in excess of the cost of this, uh, the, uh, the spindle. So he was actually ended up says, you know, I, I, my boss sent me to this uh, event to find a solution. He said, don't come back until you do because I'm not going to sign another wreck for <laughs> 10 grand. So he said, how much do they cost? And I said, well, how much current does your motor run? And he told me and I gave him a, a ballpark and his answer was, is that all? I go, yeah. He goes, well, that's an inexpensive uh, insurance policy. I said, you can look at it that way. He goes, yes, I am. I did, look at it. I did look at it that way. I got my solution. I'm going to the bar. And out the door he went. True <laughs> there story. There you have it. So True story. You want insurance policy to go to the bar early? There you hey, go. Hey, check out NK Technologies. And hey, hey, thanks so much. All right. Hey, it's good to see you again. Thank you.